EA Sports. It's in the game. It's golf's greatest trick. Here we are at the 18th. Tiger Woods is now on the tee, trying to overtake Anthony Kim. Let's see how the drama unfolds. Here we go. Here we are at the 18th. Tiger Woods is on the tee, and now let this historic moment begin. Clutch drive by Tiger here, Jim. Right up the middle. He set himself up nicely for this second shot. All right, Tiger, you've hit this shot a million times, so I'm thinking we just go for the flag stick here. Let's win this thing. Let's stick it on the green, Tiger. Oh, and another beautiful approach. He and his caddy have really been on the same page all week. Let's see what he does now with this putt for the win. Let's win this thing and make history. He's done it. Tiger, again, the Masters champion. Augusta National Golf Club opens up with T. Olive, a slight dog leg right par four. Off the tee, it's important to just get the ball in the fairway, ideally shaping the shot left to right. The green is extremely undulating, like most at Augusta, and has a very large false front that will cause short approach shots to roll all the way back to the front or even off the front of the green. The safe play is middle of the green. Two putts and take your par. Well, they don't get any better than this, right down the center. This one looks about 150 yards to me. I only have one option for you here. This ball is going to end up in a great position. Woods seems to be up to the challenge of making birdie here. Great shot to get the birdie.
Pink dogwood gets its name from the colorful flowering tree that flanks this dogleg left par five. The preferred shot off the tee is a right to left ball down the left side, avoiding the fairway bunker on the right. With a good drive, the green is reachable in two, but the general rule is to not miss the green on the same side that the flag stick is located. Whether you reach in two or leave a wedge for your third, birdie is a good possibility here at the second. All right, we're aiming downhill, so make sure you get the right club. That's a stunning tee shot. Just splits the fairway. Gotta like this. Perfectly placed in the fairway. I only have one choice here. birdie. Flowering peach is a classic short par four. What to hit off the tee could depend on where the flag stick is located. Options are to hit something short of the bunkers and leave a full short iron for the approach. Or you can take driver and hit it as far down the fairway as possible, leaving just a flip wedge to the green. For such a short hole, it is a very difficult shot into the green, especially when the flag is front left. Bobby Jones and architect Alistair McKenzie believe the third hole to be nearly perfect in design. Thus, this green has been changed less than any other on the golf course. All right, let's see what we got. Good smooth backswing, nice change of direction, and a straight tee shot. That sets up his second shot beautifully. This one's been hit directly at the flag stick. Tiger with a birdie chance. And that one drops for a birdie. The first of the par threes, Flowering Crab Apple, has played as the fourth hardest hole over the years. It's a long par three that requires a precise long iron or fairway wood and is often made difficult by the deceptive wind that plays a big factor. This makes club selection, as with most holes at Augusta National, very critical and more difficult than at other courses. The front hole locations are the hardest to get to because both of the deep bunkers are in play. Birdie here is very tough and extremely rare. That's the 250 marker there, so we can go straight to the flag stick from here.
On the green in good shape. Beautiful shot. Are you kidding me? Sink this putt and it's four birdies in a row. Just a little clean up here for Paul. Knocks that putt in for par to stay at three under. This uphill dogleg left par four is named Magnolia after one of the most prominent trees at Augusta National. The best play is to hit a right to left tee shot down the right side, avoiding the deep fairway bunkers on the left. But the fifth hole is really all about the second shot because the green is one of the most difficult on the course with a massive false front that sends balls off in every direction. The right side of the green tends to be the safest play on this hole where making par is a good score. This tee shot is starting out dead center, and it's not moving either way. I think it's about 160 yards. Beautiful strike. This will end up on the putting surface. Count that for a birdie. 